Well then, from what I've seen, Skeleton Crew is the first Star Wars TV show that sparked my interest since Andor. Wes Hal, everybody, and welcome to, to another video. Well then, I have seen two times already the uh, official trailer for Skeleton Crew, which is a Star Wars TV show that will be streaming on uh, Disney Plus December the 3rd, 2024. Uh, well, I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, I have to say, if you know my channel, that uh, I am not quite fond of the uh, latest iterations of uh, you know Star Wars put out by Disney. Uh, that show which uh, made me kind of stop watching Disney Star Wars was, I think, Obi-Wan Kenobi, which you can find reviews on my channel. Uh, I wasn't excited about it at all. It was very poorly made. It was very poorly written. I mean, <laughs> the show was um, contradicting not only the original uh, law, the canon, and but also their own Disney canon and the sh the, the individual episodes were contradicting the, the, themselves and people were acting strangely, making decisions that no sane person would do, like Obi Wan Kenobi shot a, um, a, a an electrical fence instead of like walking around it. There were many instances of people just not walking around things that fell in their way, but. Putting that aside, um, I always criticize things when they are poorly made, poorly written, when the dialogue is bad, when the story has you know plot points, when um, it contradicts that which came before. And I'm an old fart, I'm like 31, yeah, but I grew up watching uh, the original trilogy and uh, the prequels. Uh, so it's really the things that are being produced by Disney, you know, Star Wars things are not for old farts like me at all. Although I can admit that things are very well crafted, such as Andor, uh, which was a show that I enjoyed and I even have a review on my channel. Um, and in my own old fart, get of my lawn, uh, <laughs> uh, old man screaming at the clouds uh, mind, I, I said that, yeah, this, this is good, but it's not Star Wars. <laughs> um, but we, we have to ad admit that if there is a chance of Disney making a good Star Wars thing, it would be something like that, which is something clearly for kids. This is a kiddie show. I mean, it's it, the protagonists are kids. One of them is a very extremely cute alien. And, um, I mean, Babu Frig was, was cringe. But look at that. Look, look at this little alien. So if it's like clearly for kids, 50, 40 year old men have got no right to cry about this on the internet. Um, and if this is not. Um, because apparently this isn't got anything to do with the, uh, like the Star Wars that we old fans grew up watching. I mean, I, I, I don't think from what I saw in this trailer, this is going to contradict like the original trilogy or the or the prequels. If you think about it, everything that was made by Disney and wasn't poorly written, like Andor, the first season of The Mandalorian, um, the second season of The Mandalorian. Before it started touching that which we already know, before it starting, uh, before it started referencing to the original trilogy or the prequels, I well, I I really can't criticize it too much. Well, if you think about it, the the sequel trilogy, which of course I'm not a fan of, and I'm, it is not my intention to watch it any 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 time soon or ever uh, for the rest of my life. <laughs> we have to admit that when we saw The Force Awakens in cinema for the first time, it wasn't that bad, right? I mean, was it something groundbreaking? No. It was basically just rehashing everything that we saw in Star Wars, meaning A New Hope. Uh, and then, of course, the two sequels to that were pieces of trash. <laughs> but uh, this looks good. I mean, as I said, the protagonists, they're looking to be kids, which clearly suggests this is going to be a kiddie show. Um, it looks uh, very well made. I mean, this is just a trailer. I'm only uh, 
I'm only talking about it based on what I see here on the screen. Uh, and, and I will be checking that out. I will be re reviewing this. This is like the first show since uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi Andor that I'm genuinely interested in. I haven't seen Ahsoka. I haven't seen, uh, what was it, the, the the latest one that everybody was crying about, that there was a shirtless man. Uh, Acolyte, yeah, I, I haven't seen those shows. I'm not. It's not my intention to watch them or to review them. Um, it's quite clearly not for me, not for a guy who is not fond of, uh, you know, retcons or ignoring, you know, the original law. I, I also, like, grew up reading all the extended universe novels, so quite clearly I'm an old-school kind of guy who does not enjoy all these new things, and on top of that, I love Jude Law, like, a, a lot. Uh, he's one of my favorite contemporary actors, um, and he's going to be playing, apparently, a Jedi here, because these kids, like, they find uh, what seems to be an abandoned Jedi temple, Look at that little elephant thing. That's that's cute. And so, at the beginning, the trailer looks... <laughs> I mean, if you didn't know, it's Star Wars, like the first, like, 20 seconds. You think it's, like, something from our world, from not-so-distant future. Like, this shot is like... What is it? Like, a sub suburb in America? <laughs> no, but um, I'm genuinely interested in this 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 sparked my interest it looks so different from anything that we have seen for the last couple of years um and i am very much like fond of uh, cute little aliens and uh, cute little animals in films i just like that you know i i just like some wholesomeness in my life so i like to be open minded and even though i criticized a lot of star wars that came out recently uh, I didn't jump on the bandwagon of, uh, you know, criticizing Ahsoka or, uh, what is it, once again, Acolyte. Uh, from what I saw, from what I've heard from people, it is important for you to watch the entire Rebels TV show in order to fully understand and enjoy Ahsoka. And I'm not, in, I'm not going to do that. I tried watching the Rebels. It wasn't my cup of tea, so no. Nah. Right, so let me know in the comments down below what you think about uh, the skeleton crew. Yeah, and there will be all. Thank you uh, very much for watching. Oh, no, one more thing that I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> um, a lot of people have been criticizing things on the internet just without even seeing them. Uh, I don't really agree with that. Now, once again, if I see something that uh, like appeals to my eyes and appeals to my ears from the promotional material that I see, I'm willing to give it a try. Now, you know... Otherwise, I can't call myself a critic. What can I call myself if I just see a trailer and start shouting, uh, you know, in in uh, in front of the camera, like you know, Vogue, DEI, Kathleen Kennedy. I'm I'm as your boy Zach says, I'm a birthday party clown. I will be able to criticize it fully and uh, rate it fully only uh, after I have seen this. Right. So yeah, that's all. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and there'll be all. Uh, may the force be with you. Bye.